visiting an area of Malaysia known as Taiping. Let's see what we can find in this area of Malaysia. that we're in right now is very secluded off the beaten track and it seems like we're the only Westerners here being a Westerner in this part of Malaysia definitely feels awkward we are going into an area known as the wild boar temple this area is filled with wild boars we're a little nervous considering how things look here but let's see what we can find on this road. The road up to Wild Boar Temple is very disgustingly dirty. We're actually not even sure if there's anything up here. This road pretty much looks vacant. So, we're not really sure what we're in for. This is all part of the adventure, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if we're supposed to be in this area. I'm getting swarmed with mosquitoes. I might not be able to get in. Looks like the gate is closed. Made it to the top of this hill. And we haven't seen any wild boars, but there's a bunch of monkeys here. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy to see these monkeys. <laughs> it is very, very hot up here. It's easily 95 degrees. It's very muggy. Pre precipitation level is undescribable right now. We're heading back down the hill. Let's see 
what greets us along the way. It's like the mosquitoes are escorting me out of here and saying, don't you ever come back here again. It's safe to say that our mission is unsuccessful. It is dusk right now and we haven't seen any wild boars except the one who was elusive and took off once I was trying to take a picture, so. Ha, <sighs> Taiping. The weather's starting to change, the wind's blowing, and it's probably going to start raining any moment, so we're gonna take cover and let's see what else we can find here in Taiping. <laughs> just boarded the 215 ferry. The ferry leaves every 45 minutes and we were able to walk on board on this pretty empty ferry. So let's see what we find on Orangutan Island. Hopefully a lot of orangutans. through an enclosure to check out the orangutans. This is how they feed the orangutans here. They put fruit in this tube and shoot it down and the orangutans come and pick it up and that's how they get fed without having any kind of human interaction. And we are about to meet BJ. BJ is 35 years old and his favorite food is durian fruit and coconuts. Oh my god. Oh, yes. <laughs> and BJ just picked up his coconut and took off. It's pretty warm out here. It's about 87 degrees. I can see why BJ does not want to hang out in the heat. He has long dreadlocks. Bob Marley would be proud. This orangutan that's behind me is a replica of one of the orangutans that was once here. Being face to face with him gives a similar feeling of what it would be like if this was an actual live orangutan standing behind me. What's this one's name? Uh, this is Adam, 16 years old. We are our first baby born here.
going on a sky cycle. So Michael gets to do the heavy lifting here. He's gonna do the paddling and we're gonna go through this course. Did all the heavy lifting, how was it? It was okay. <laughs> we are walking inside this bird park and taking a look at some of the animals that they have displayed here. turtles and guinea pigs. A lot of these animals that are in this enclosure look very sad. I'm going to break the rules right now and put some water in this turtle enclosure because these things need to be in water and I don't care if I get in trouble. Usually these kind of animals are timid. First time I've seen guinea pigs come up to me and want attention. Same with the ostrich. So here I am adding water to the turtle pond so that way they could have a little bit more dignity while being in captivity. these turtles came up to me just to say thank you. So I'm gonna fill this water up and then we're gonna move on to our next area. I'm a rule breaker. But for these rules, I'm breaking them for the sake of the well-being of these animals. Wow, is even alive? Another one that doesn't have water. We came across a crocodile enclosure. Wow, no water. These poor things, they look like they're sick. We're not exactly sure what this enclosure is behind us. But the best way to describe this place is like going to Griffith Park and seeing the abandoned version of LA Zoo meets the newer updated version of LA Zoo. If anyone is watching this, I'm not really sure how we wound up on this part of the park, but it's a complete contrast to where we were at with the orangutans because that area over there, the donations go to help preserving them. Where this part of the park seems like the complete opposite. The more that we are walking through this animal park, we're starting to see how neglected these animals are. And I'm not really sure what to do, what to think, what to say, other than to show you guys what we're witnessing. And as you just saw, I filled up that turtle pond with water. I don't think there's been water put in that thing for months. The conditions of this animal park are pretty horrid. I feel sorry for a lot of these animals because there's no food and hardly any water. One of the things is that they are behind electric fences and you can tell that they've adapted their behavior to their environment. I wish there was something that we can do other than complain about it in a video log. Before. 
beautiful. <laughs>